guys, my name is Fatuma and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful crochet top. So to begin our project you have to work on the bra caps, then work on the sides, come back, work on the middle part, then connect our yarn and work on the pineapple stitches and then later on the bottom. So to begin off you are going to need a crochet hook, mine is the 4.0mm hook, the scissors to cut off the ends and the yarn and mine is from Robin which is 100% acrylic. So to begin off you are going to start by making a slip knot and that is how we make a slip knot. Then I am going to insert my hook on the middle part and tighten it. Crochet up to 15 because now we are working on a size small. But I would recommend if you're working on a large size, you add two more. So now we have 15. We are going to add an additional two. Wrap your yarn over the hook and shut on the 15. Because now we have 17. Pull through yarn. And then we're going to have three on the hook. Wrap your yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through two. Now that's going to be a double stitch. Wrap your yarn over the hook, insert again, pull some yarn through that hole. You're going to have three, pull through two, then pull through two. Now that's going to be the pattern for that side. Now we are at the top, we are going to insert our needle through that hole, remain with 3, pull through 2, pull through 2, then go back on the same hole, insert our needle, pull through some yarn, we are going to be left with 3, pull through 2, pull through 2, then we are going to do 2 on the top, 1, 2, then on the other side, insert our yarn, we have 3, pull through 2, pull through 2, and do the same. So now for that other side we are going to do double stitches as we had done previously. So now we are the base, we are going to wrap our yarn on the needle, insert through that hole, grab our yarn, we are going to have three on the hook, pull through two, pull through two and then crochet an additional two, turn over our project, wrap our yarn on the needle, insert on the hole, grab some yarn, we are going to have three, pull through two, pull through two. So for that line we are going to do double stitches until we get to the end. So now we are at the top, we are going to wrap our yarn over the hook, insert, pull through some yarn, we are going to have 3, pull through 2, pull through 2, and then crochet 2 at the top, unlike previously when we did 2 on the same hole. Then go back on the same hole, grab our yarn, we remain with 3 on the hook, pull through 2, pull through 2, then go back on that same line, we are just going to do double stitches up to the end where we have our base. So now we, when we get there, we are going to attach our green yarn. So I'm going to make a slip knot on the green yarn, then I'm going to attach it on my red bra cap. So insert my hook, tighten it, and then pull through that hole. So I'm going to push it one, two, turn over my project, 
wrap my yarn around the hook, insert that hole, pull through some yarn, pull through two, pull through two. So now I'm going to do double stitches up to the top and then when I get to the top I'm going to do one double stitch, chain two, then another double stitch and then work my way to the bottom again. So now we've worked with the double stitches all around the bracket, but when we reached at the top of the bracket, we did one double stitch, chain two, another double stitch on the same hole, and then went back and did the same double stitches all around the bracket up to the end. So now I did two red, two greens, two yellows and one black. I'm going to take my scissors, cut off the black hem and then I'm going to tighten it there. So now I'm back with my two brackets. As you can see they are curved to cover up our breast. So now I'm, I'm going to have to connect the two of them to create the shell pattern on the middle. So I'm going to make a slip knot, take my hook, tighten it, and then I'm going to take my hook, insert on the first hole in one of the brackets, then insert the yarn on the hook, pull through it, chain four, take my other bracket, and attach to it. After attaching the two brackets, we are going to chain two, then go up to the third stitch of one of the brackets and attach our yarn there, and then we're going to chain an additional two, then go back to the four chains that we have made and make a triangle that's going to be three double crochets on the hole, chain two and another three double crochets on the same same hole. Then chain two and attach it on the third stitch on the other bracket. So now there we have it, our triangle, now we are going to chain 2 and count up to the third stitch and attach it there, 1, 2, 3, attach it there, then turn over our project, chain 2, turn over our project, insert on that hole, do 3 double stitches on that hole, chain 2 on the top, 
then another two double stitches and then chain two count up to the third and attach our hook there so now we are going to make four triangles of the same pattern So here we have it, we have our four triangles, so we are going to chain two and attach it on the third stitch and then chain two, turn over our project and for this stitch we are going to do it a little more different because now we are going to make a shell pattern of six three double stitches on the same hole. So we are going to do three double stitches, chain two at the top, then another three double stitches, chain two at the top then three double stitches and then we are going to chain two and then count up to three and attach it as usual So here we have it, right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, now we are going to do 3 more, we are going to chain 2 and do 3 more on that same hole and then chain 1, 2 and then attach it on the third stitch on the other cup. And so now we are back, since we have 3 holes. We are going to make sure we are going to do one triangle on every hole. So this is the first hole we are going to do three double stitches and then chain two, then three double stitches, chain, then chain two. On the second hole we are going to do the same thing that is three double stitches, chain two, three double stitches, chain two. On the last hole, one, two there. So this is the first hole we are doing uh, at the second hole now. So we are going to do 3 stitches there too, chain 2, 1, 2, go back to 3 double stitches. One, two, one, two. And then do the last triangle on that hole. That's going to be 3 double stitches, chain 2, 3 double stitches, chain 2, then attach it on the third on the third double stitch turn over your project do one triangle there Chain two, we are going to chain two, and then on the middle part, we are going to do nine double stitches. So, after doing nine, we are going to do our last triangle, and then chain two, and then attach it to the third hook. So now we are working on the sides, we are going to insert our needle on the first hole, make a slip knot, then attach our yarn and do a chain 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so now here we have our six stitches we are going to block off on the fourth and then do a double crochet there pull through two pull through two crochet two then go on the one two on the third insert and make a triangle there so that's going to be two three double crochets on that same hole chain two at the top then do three double crochets again 
and then chain two and attach it on the third double stitch. So these are the triangles that I've been making. Yeah, these are the same triangles that I was working on the middle part. So now we are going to do the same triangles up to the top of the bracket. Chain two, turn over our project, do a triangle there. That's going to be a three double crochet, chain two, then three double crochet, chain two, then drop our yarn on the needle and do one double crochet on the one supporting double crochet there. Yeah, there, chain two. There we go. One, two. So there we have it. So here we are. We've worked the sides. We've worked the middle part. Now we are going to work on the pineapple stitch on the top before we come back and work the bottom. So we are going to do a triangle there. That's going to be a chain three. Three double crochets, that's what I mean. Then chain two on the top. One, two, go back, do three double crochets. Chain two, wrap our yarn over the needle and then go straight to the middle part where we have our triangle and insert it there and do a three double crochets on that triangle. Then we are going to chain two. So on the shell pattern that we had created nine, we are going to wrap our yarn over, do one first double stitch there, and then chain one on the top, then go back do one double stitch there and create one on the top one. So basically that's going to be the pattern for that part and we should have nine by the end of this and then do the last triangle then chain two and attach it to the last triangle there and close that part so there we go that's how it should look like so then we're going to work the same way we did this other so we are going to chain 4 and insert it on the first hole. This is the cluster that we had made before. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then insert it on that hole. There. Do that until the end of the cluster then we're going to finish up by chaining two and uh, doing our triangle chain two and another triangle that is what we should have two three Chain one, two, insert there, 
and make our triangle then chain 2 and attach it to the last triangle over the edge of our top so here we are as you can see our pineapple top has started forming so we are going to chain 3 and then we are going to attach it on the first hole there And then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then attach it on the second hole to create our pineapple stitch. Then to create our triangle as usual, we are going to chain three, wrap our yarn over the hook, then insert on the hole. We're going to do three double crochet, chain two three double crochet chain two and then finish it off to the other side So we've done our first pineapple, crochet to second pineapple there. So now our pineapple stitch is over, we are going to chain 2 and attach it to the other triangle there, 1, 2, 3, chain 2, 1, 2, 3, chain 2, 1, 2, 3, chain 2 and then do one double stitch on the last one. So here we are, our top is over, we are going to cut the yarn and then we are going to tighten it there, pull through there, attach it. So now we are going to close the ends, yeah, the leftover, the very shagged like that. So we are going to close them and then cut them off so that the top can be neat. Here we are, minor cut off. So after that, we are going to take our yarn, make a slip knot, and then we are going to do 20 chains attach it to the end of our top on the beginning then do single crochets all over the top what we do is just insert the hook pull through one we're going to have to on the hook pull through two then insert our hook on the hole we have two pull through two that's what we are going to do all over the top and then once we are at the end we are going to do chain 20 so here we are with our 20 
chain so you're going to add two because you're making double stitches for the bottom so then we're going to wrap our yarn over the hook insert on the 20th chain pull through our yarn we have three on the hook pull through two pull through two so we're going to do that all through the bottom of the top because we are creating double stitch So here we are, you can see how neat our bottom is. So to create the next line, we are going to chain 3 and then count to the 4 double stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and then insert our triangle there. So we are going to do a chain 3 then two on the top and then another chain three one two you go back on the same hole do another three chain two then count to the fourth stitch one two three four do one single stitch one single double stitch there like that one two so this is what we have we have one triangle then chain two then one double stitch on the fourth stitch then we're going to chain two then do another triangle there then chain two and then do one double stitch at the top so this is what we have at the end we didn't have enough space so I decided to fix two double stitches Now I'm going to attach my radian, I'm going to make a slip knot and then attach on the black yarn, pull through there and then do the same exact thing as I did with the black pattern. So where I had to when where I had to fix it, I did the same exact thing. I did one double crochet there, chain two and another double crochet and then I did the triangle as usual So here we are at the end, 
I attached my green yarn and my yellow yarn to create the same same pattern my black yarn at the end so I did like five of them but you can do as many as you want because mine doesn't even reach up to the navel but you can create as many as you want so it can cover your whole stomach so now I'm tying the loose ends to each other so I can cut them off I'll do that to this side and the same to the other side of the top and I use my scissors to cut them off here we are my top is neat like that so now I'm going to to do the strands for the next side so I'm going to put my needle there then attach my yarn into four strands instead of two because I want it to be thick to be able to hold my breast so for the strands you can make them as long as you want for mine I do at least a hundred chains for my neck and uh, for the back side because I did do the same same thing for the back so there we are so here I am I made a strand for the both sides for my neck and I made the same size strands for my back which there were a hundred chains So now I'm going to to put the So now I'm going to put the strands in crisscross. So I'm going to put the left strand on the right side and the right and the right strand on the left side and vice versa until I create my crisscross. There we go. There we are, our top is over. So guys, this is it. You can make this top in any color you want. If someone wants to buy the end product, I'm going to link my details in the description box. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share. See you in my next video. Bye.